Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Big Bang Chemistry, a complete solution of the chemistry. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the examples of the molecule which is having the back bonding and back bonding is going to affect the many parameters of those molecules. So before starting the full discussion about the back bonding in silicon tetrafluoride, just look some questions. Question number one, this SIF bond length is shorter than CF bond length of CF4. Second question is that SIF4 silicon tetrafluoride is more stable than the carbon tetrafluoride. In spite of having what same hybridization this is also sp3 hybridized this is also sp3 hybridized both are having same geometry but why these many variations are there why these variations are there so to understand it first draw the structure of this molecule carbon tetrafluoride and silicon tetrafluoride each fluorine atom is having three lone pair of electron in cf4 and carbon used all of its valence electrons so there is no only lone pair electron on carbon now this is the what silicon tetrafluoride structure right so this is the silicon tetrafluoride structure in this structure also this is the tetrahedral structure this is tetrahedral structure when you will check the hybridization of central atom this is also sp3 hybridized and this is also sp3 hybridized right silicon is a central atom here carbon is central atom even with respect to fluorine atom if you want to check so these all fluorine atoms in SIF4 and CF4 sp3 hybridized which I will discuss later the importance of this before making any conclusion just have a look on the configuration of these central atom Carbon atomic number is 6, configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So now when you will check the energy level diagram and ground state configuration of the carbon, then you will find this is the 2s2, this is 2p2. Now carbon undergoes the excitation and finally one s electron will jump to the what empty p orbital and the new configuration of carbon is 2p3 and this is what 2s1. So finally, in this CF4, carbon using these atomic orbital undergoes the hybridization and form the what sp3 hybrid orbital. In same way, check the configuration of silicon. Silicon atomic number is 14. Configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. But now, here there is a presence of 3d0 empty d orbitals present. But in carbon, there is a no chance of presence of any empty d orbital. Right? So now check the configuration of the silicon again in ground state and in excited state. So in ground state, the silicon atom is having 3s2 electron and this is what 3p2. On excitation, what happened? One of the s electron will jump to the what empty p orbital. In excited state, again this silicon will use 1s 3p orbital undergoes the hybridization and form the what sp3 hybrid orbital but again in excited state this d orbital is vacant up to now everything is similar between the cf4 and sif4 why a difference comes now reason is that the atomic size of fluorine is very small and because of the small size of this fluorine fluorine will be very close to the silicon in same way this fluorine will be very close to the carbon but in silicon there is a presence of vacant d orbital then what will happen fluorine want to give its lone pair of electron to the vacant d orbital of silicon but there is a problem and here you need to understand some very important discussions so be careful try to understand this discussion again i'm going to redraw the same structure of silicon tetrafluoride now check the hybridization of each atom in this silicon tetrafluoride when you will check then you will find this fluorine is what sp3 hybridized this fluorine is again sp3 hybridized each fluorine is what sp3 hybridized and this silicon is also sp3 hybridized but with this sp3 hybridization silicon is having one empty d orbital fluorine wants to donate its lone pair of electron to the silicon vacant d orbital but in this condition in sp3 hybrid condition fluorine cannot donate why because if fluorine will donate the electron then pi bond will form 
an sp3 hybrid orbital never formed a pi bond the reason is that these lone pair of electron of fluorine is present in sp3 hybrid orbital so what is the meaning of this if fluorine want to donate this electron then these lone pair of electron must be present in pure orbital and pure orbital overlapping can form the word pi bond through the word back bonding so what fluorine will do first fluorine will change its hybridization to sp2 right why sp2 because sif4 can get the what maximum stability or its stability will increase if one back bonding is going to form between silicon and fluorine atom for this what will happen again redraw this structure now this lone pair of electron is present in p orbital and same time this silicon is having empty d orbital and we know that which type of d orbital this one non axial d orbital so now what will happen this fluorine will donate its electron to this empty d orbital of silicon so this is the d orbital this is the p orbital so this is your what back bonding and this back bonding is going to form the overlapping of p orbital and d orbital and this overlapping forming the pi bond that's why this is what p pi d pi back bonding now check the nature of this bond will be pi the nature of this single bond is what sigma so now in this silicon tetrafluoride each sif bond is having the what multiple bond character right how we can draw the final structure of the silicon tetrafluoride so now each sif bond will have the what partial double bond character so we can show this double bond character by this broken line and it will show the resonance also because of delocalization of pi electron and because of this sif4 will be more stable in the previous video i told that if surrounding atom as a donor atom then the hybridization or the geometry of the molecule will not change now check this is what pi bond only this is what sigma bond so after the back donation or back bonding again number of sigma bond is 4 so this molecule hybridization is not going to change sp3 remain as it is but because of the formation of this pi bond stability increases right and now when there is a pi bond going to form between two atoms then what will happen bond length will decrease now compare silicon tetrafluoride and carbon tetrafluoride so because of the back bonding between silicon and fluorine atom in sif4 there is a partial double bond character because of that one bond length is shorter than the word cf but in cf4 the carbon don't have the word empty d orbital fluorine is available for the donation but fluorine is not getting the site where to donate that's why in cf4 there is no any back bonding that's why cf bond length is larger than the sif bond length now because of the presence of this pi bond or multiple bond stability of sif4 automatically will increase that's why sif4 is more stable than the cf4 i hope that everyone is understanding the back bonding in silicon tetrafluoride with respect to the carbon tetrafluoride thank you very much like share and subscribe my channel